Hey guys, welcome to video number 8 on the Datsun restoration build series. This is the first video where we'll be working on the shell of the Datsun 1200. With the engine and most of the driving parts restored, my goal now is to prep the body as much as needed so that I can pop the engine right back in. And the first stage of this process is going to be a whole ton of rust repair. Now let's take a look. It's been a while since I've seen the beast, but it's comforting to know that the rust hasn't gotten any worse. The pipes you see here are for the rear brakes and fuel. Really the only things left in the engine bay. I'll eventually be chopping off the battery tray, as well as all the little bits and bobs that are left in here. Before I start working on the engine bay, I've got to take care of the rust where the firewall meets a cow and also meets the windshield seal. I'm going to start by drilling out all the spot welds that are keeping this panel on. Good thing my old mate Corrosion has done half the job for me. I still haven't properly seen what's under here, so I'm keen to find out. So usually when I drill out spot welds, I grind down the surrounding paint and or rust. This makes it much easier to spot them. They leave a recessed circle indicating the spot I need to drill out. I'm pretty sure this is the original weld where the cowl meets the A-pillar. I'm just trying to figure out where I should chop. And I'm greeted with this funny face. That's the cabin vent. There's a lot of rust and nature in here as I suspected. It's especially bad at either end of the cavity. There's meant to be drain holes at either end for water to escape, but leaves eventually get in, plug that hole up, and the whole area gets rusted out. I'm curious to see how much good metal is left, so I'm grinding out half of this area. So when the water does end up going through the drain holes, it then enters another cavity. This one is the bonnet and fender support piece. It's in alright Nick, but I'm going to have to repair this one as well.
I'm contemplating whether or not I want to plate off the cow vents. This will stop water from coming in here again, but I'm not sure how that will affect the air circulation of the cabin. If there are any sunny owners watching, feel free to let me know in the comments whether or not that's a good idea. Again, a lot of nature in here. I really wanted to keep that upper bonnet lip so I could reference it while I go to fabricate new pieces. It's so mangled anyways, so it gets chopped. Looks like I'm gonna have to take more of this area apart just to make sure I end up getting all the rust. But before I do, I'm gonna quickly make up a new side piece for the cowl water box. This area is only going to get harder to recognize as I tear it apart, so I'll make up this piece while I can. This piece will be slightly altered again once I put things back together, but it's good to know that I've got the general shape down. Regarding the APLR, I'm going to try my best to keep it connected to the rest of the body, because I don't want to end up with a wonky car and I don't really want to realign it. So I'm officially a metal fabricator. I've made my first replacement piece. This is only the beginning of my rust removal adventure and I'm on uni break so I've got plenty of time on my hands. My aim is to get most of the front end done over the next couple of months. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Come check out my channel for other videos on the build. Thanks for watching.